Good Tuesday morning. Second Chronicles 19.11 says, Take courage as you fulfill your duties, and may the Lord be with those who do what is right. This doing what is right thing. I wish it was easy. We read this as we've been reading through the reign of King Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat's reign was a mixed bag. Sometimes he obeyed God, sometimes he did not. So even while he had appointed the priests and the Levites to teach the law in chapter 17, he also foolishly entered into a military alliance with the wicked King Ahab of Israel. In today's reading, we see more of that same lurching between good and evil, uh, and it happens throughout the rest of Jehoshaphat's life. Jehoshaphat appointed judges throughout the cities of Judah as well as priests and Levites who would remain in Jerusalem to judge the more difficult disputed cases. This is a wise legal structure that Moses had set up at the suggestion of his father-in-law Jethro back in Exodus 18. And by reestablishing it, Jehoshaphat is seeking to ensure justice during his reign. But we also read that Jehoshaphat at the end of his life enters into another wayward arrangement with King Ahaziah of Israel to build ships to go to Tarshish. God is not pleased with this alliance with a wicked king, so he destroys the ships that the two kings made before they even disembark. In the life of Jehoshaphat, we see an obedience that looks familiar. It's much like our own. Sometimes we follow Jesus into difficult situations with joy and singing, and at other times, besetting sin draws us back down again. Rather than giving up the fight, pray instead that God will give you the grace to persevere to finish the race well, following after Jesus faithfully the rest of your life. Lord, forgive the impulsive decisions we often make without consulting you. Help us to finish well. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.